Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about different farms that you can do in a group or solo and then can reward you with some items that you can then sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So the only requirement for all these different farms is to have a mage. All these different items that I'm going to talk about in today's video will only drop if you're playing a mage. If you don't already have a mage, what I would recommend you to do is simply to create a trail character that you can then use in order to do all these different farms. Just keep in mind that unfortunately after like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, this trail character will be locked. And so in order for you to not lose the different items you're going to farm, I would each time recommend you to send the item you got to your main character and then to continue the farm. So like that, you won't lose any of these items. And of course, as soon as your trail character is locked, if you want to continue these different farms, what you can do is simply delete this character, create a new one, and start again. So before I start, I really just want to mention the different items I'm going to talk about in today's video are like, you know, setting quite like slow. And so I would not recommend you to farm like multiples of these different items. One of which is the best, just post it on the auction house wait for them to sell and then farm another one because it makes no sense to farm maybe five or six of them and then to wait for them to sell. Just do that and then you will normally be able to make some sales, but it just takes a little bit of time. So the different items we're going to talk about in today's video are all the different tom of polymorph that mages can use in order to change the animal they are like, you know, polymorphing uh, characters and players into. So normally the normal animal is a ship and throughout the different expansions, Blizzard decided to include new animals. Some of them are like the different tomes are binds when picked up, but some of them are binds when equipped. And so it means you can farm them and then sell them on the auction house. So we have five different tomes in total that you can farm and sell. The first one is going to be the polar bear cub. The second one is going to be the monkey one. The third one is going to be the porcupine one. The fourth one is the black cat. And finally, we have the turtle one. So I'm going to explain for each of them how you can get the tome and what is the value of the tome. And after that, I will just provide my thoughts on what is the best way to actually make some gold with these different tomes. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is going to be the tome of polymorph black cat. So for this one, it's extremely easy. All you want to do is come in Dalaran, uh, in the northern Dalaran, and you want to come here in that part of the city. Just here you will have this shop, the sister sorceress, and here you will have this uh, vendor, Andorra Moore Red. She will sell you the tome, so right now it doesn't appear because I just bought it, for 2,000 gold. So it's extremely easy to get, and it just costs you 2,000 gold. The only issue with this one is that, as you can see, you can then sell it back at the vendor for 625 gold. So it means that the auction fee in order to actually post the item is going to cost you a lot. As you can see, for 48 hours, it's 375 gold. And so it means that each time you want to post it, it will be very expensive. So what I would recommend you to do is simply go on your realm, check if there is anyone selling it. If there is no one, maybe try for like, you know, like a couple of days to sell it for like a pretty good price. Um, but if there is already people, it's really not worth it. And even that, it's always risky to have these type of items in your bags because if you're doing some auctioning scan and you forget it's there, you might each time post it for 375 gold and lose a lot of gold. So this one is very tricky, the easiest one to get, but I would personally not post it on the auction house. So it's really up to you to see what you want to do. So for this one, the value on average on European realms is going to be between 13 to 22k gold and then on US realms for 9.9 .9 to 19k gold. But again, keep in mind that you will have each time to spend a lot of gold just to post it on the auction house. After that, for the Tom of Polymorph Monkey. This one is extremely easy to get. So as you can see, it can drop from all these different monkeys. And the ones we're really interested in right now are the Ozone Ravager and Ozone Scavenger in the Jade Forest. So all you want to do is come in the Jade Forest and go here at the bottom of the map. You will have all these different monkeys that are running all around the boat. So what you want to do is go there. It works very well solo, so you don't need a group for this one. You just need to create a macro uh, where you put first slash target uh, Ozone and then slash cast and then you can use like any ability that is instant and that you can kill the different monkeys with 
And like that, you can just circle around, click on the same spell again and again and again, uh, kill all the monkeys, and after just no time, you will get one of these stones. So this one is extremely easy to get. When it comes to the value, and as it's extremely easy to get, uh, on European realms, it's only going to be between 6k4 to 9k4. And on US realms, it's going to be between 7,200 to 14,000 gold. After that, we're going to have the Tome of Polymorph for Polar Bear Cup. So this one is also one of the most annoying ones to get. Basically, in order to get it, you just want to kill some Arctic Grizzly in Dragonbite. The only issue is that, unfortunately, all these Grizzlies are like not well packed. And also, there is just not that many. So if you're doing it solo, what I would recommend you to do is to start from here, kill all the Grizzlies, just go all there, kill all of them, and then come back. Normally, like when I was doing it uh, solo on my trail character, in like three to four minutes, I was able to kill 20 bears, and then you can do it again and again. So definitely, it's not going to be the easiest way and the most efficient way to get it because it just like takes you too much time and it's only 0.5% uh, drop chance. What I would recommend you to do for this one is simply to like uh, find a group or create a group in order to do it with five other, other people. The best areas to do it are going to be just here and just there. So really, either try to find a group in the group search or just create your own group. And like that, I'm sure you will be able to maximize the number of tomes you can get and to avoid spending like two hours uh, farming for only one tome. So that's going to be my best advice for this one. When it comes to the value for this one on European realms, it's going to be between 65 to 71,000 gold. And on US realms, it's going to be between 73 to 82,000 gold. So a really good value on average. After that, we're going to have the Tom of Polymorph Porcupine. So this one is not too difficult to get. It's also something that can drop from some mobs. And as you can see, this is something that also has a very low drop chance. The thing that is good with these ones is that if you go in the Jade Forest, you have the Smoky Porcupines. And they're all like pretty well packed. And really, you will be able to kill a lot of them just by circling around this area. Um, what you want to do again is just kill all of them, like, you know, circle, wait for them to respawn and kill them again. This is something that works pretty well solo. I've been able to get the Tom maybe after like 10 minutes. So I think I've also been pretty lucky. But again, this is something that you can really do solo pretty easily. I'm sure you can also do it in a group, but it might just be a little bit more tricky for this one to find a group. Uh, it's really up to you. Maybe just find, uh, try to find one. And if you don't try it solo and like that, you will most likely be able to get the Tom after a little bit of farm. When it comes to the value for this one, it's going to be between 50 to 60. K gold on European realms and between 50 to 78 K gold on US realms. The final tom is going to be the tom of polymorph turtle. So this one is definitely the most annoying one to get. What you want to do for this one is to actually get it while fishing in all the different areas of cataclysm. So it's very important here that you fish only in the different like uh, fishing pools. So you cannot just fish it in the random uh, sea. You want to really each time find of one of these different pools and then you have like a very, very small chance of actually getting it. So this one is definitely tricky. Um, I would say it's going to be the most annoying one by far, but it's also the most expensive one. So right now on European realms, you can sell it for anywhere between 300 to 600 K gold and on US realms for 421 to 600 K gold. And what is like cool to like note is that with this tome, Basically, each time you will, uh, like, you know, like use it, you have a chance at getting like, uh, the skin of like one out of three different turtles. So it's never really the same turtle, which makes it pretty cool. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Again, please, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, do not do that again and again and again. Just try to get one of each and then post them on the auction house, wait for them to sell. And then you can start again if they actually sell. It's really the type of items you should just have on your auction house all the time and you know if they sell good if they don't sell that's you know okay uh, but don't like farm maybe like five of them in a row it really makes no sense so that's going to be pretty much it for today's video i will be back with more guides and with more videos very soon in the meantime i wish you all a very good weekend and i will see you all very soon bye